welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of this month's fairy loot. So I've just got this today and I can't wait to open it, it's got some stuff in that I really, really, really cannot wait for. I've been looking forward to this box for ages so I'm just going to quickly get it open and have a look. So first thing we see is this gorgeous painting, we, we always get these spoiler cards in every box and this one is just so pretty but I'm not going to look at it because I don't want to be spoiled. The first thing in the box is a candle and it's Melissa Brent, uh, one of my favourite Disney villains and it's by Merakai Candles. I've got a few from this shop and it is a really, really good shop. It smells really nice as well and it's so sparkly. So it's Jade Orchard and Lotus Blossom. But it smells really nice and I can't wait to give it a light. Next thing we have looks like a little mirror. It says everyone has darkness inside them, however hidden by the young elites. That's quite pretty. <laughs> then, oh my god, this is amazing. It's a Death Eater pin. That is so cute. I am going to be popping that on my coat as soon as I've done because that is so cute and amazing. I just love the little snake. It's, it's just so cute. Then we have a coaster that says every fairy tale needs a good old fashioned villain. And I think that's from the Grisha trilogy. I'm not too sure. But again, that is really, really pretty. Then we've got these. I think these little postcards from the Language of Thorns. I think there's one per fairy tale. So those are looking pretty nice. Just look at them. They're just so pretty. Now this box has two books in it and one of the books is one that I've been really looking forward to and it's The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo and I believe this is an exclusive cover. I think normally the writing's gold but on this one it's red and I think it's just so pretty. I've heard a lot of this but I've been putting off buying it because I knew it was coming in this box but it's just so pretty and I just cannot wait to give it a go. Basically this is linked into the Greaser Trilogy and Six of Crows. I have not read the Greaser Trilogy but I loved Six of Crows so I'm hoping I will like it. Just six short stories regarding that world so I just can't wait. Now for the book, so let's give it a little open. Sorry my hair is doing my head in, I've just had it cut today so it's just doing my head in at the moment. Okay so first we have our little bookmark, our fairy buddy, the fairy scope booklet. So the book is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Deo, I think that is. So I haven't really seen much about this. All I know is that I think it's a bit of an um, evil queen retelling set in Asia, I think, but I'm not too sure. I think I like it. It seems like it's along the lines of Flame in the Mist, which was a retelling of Mulan. I'd like to give it a go. It's a quite a pretty colour. Not too keen on snakes, so I don't know how that's going to cope. But yeah. And then you also have the letter from the author and the signed book play as well. Sorry about that being very quick, but I wanted to get it open and I've got stuff to do, so I just thought I'd quickly get it open and then I'm off to a meal with my friends. So yeah, I hope you liked it. I will link the Fairy Loot website down below. And what did you think to this box? Just comment down below and we can have a little discussion. Bye!